Hello and welcome to the new Master of Orion. So some of you that know my channel know I am a huge Master of Orion 2 fan. In fact, the very first Let's Play I ever did on YouTube was Master of Orion 2. I've done it twice now. Um, and, uh, well, we have a new one. So this one is actually made by Wargaming.net, which is, they do things like World of Tanks, not a strategy game company. So I was a bit skeptical when I first heard that they bought the license to the game. But after uh, keeping up with some of the news, and, and I watched Cool 18... Uh, stream it yesterday, and uh, well, I had to get it, so here I am. Master of Ryan, the new one, it is in early access as of uh, today. I just bought it, just went on sale, so I just bought it, and uh, we're gonna try it out. So, there's a lot of features that are in the works that aren't quite here yet. Here's the early access thing, but we're gonna try a new game. We're going to do a new game. I have not done much, I, I basically I just got in here and did a bit of uh. Are an old testing race of avian hominids. And we have Michael Dorn well narrating the thing. A lot of famous folks are, are doing uh, well, voice actors in the game. We have folks like uh, uh, Alan Tudyk and uh, Mark Hamill's in here. Michael Dorn, of course. The Lots of folks. John Delancey, I think, is one of them. The so we start with Elkari, Bulrathi, Human Merchant, Cylon, Sakura. Uh, eventually, the Darlock, Clacon, Siliquid, and Mechlar will be here. I'm assuming the Illyrian and the Gnolem will be here eventually. Uh, maybe, I don't know, a DLC pack or maybe just an expansion. I don't know. I'm assuming they would get them in there. But, uh, yes, Warf will tell us all about these guys. Uh, they're similar to the, the Master Ryan 2 versions of them. Um, the Alkari are, they start with their Artifax homeworld, as they always did before. They have a beam defense bonus. They're good at flying ships. That's kind of was always their thing before. Um, as for who we're going to play, I'm going to, I always stuck with the Alkari. Not, I always stuck with the Alkari and then the custom race thing, which is actually not available yet. Or access. Um, to many of the but yeah, we can do. We can do that. Start with artifacts, which gives us a bonus to uh, research on our home world. Beam defense means we don't get shot as much. Starting tech, we get physics, which we'll go through that. The tech tree is one thing that is quite a bit different uh, here versus the previous moves. If they believe they have just so, let's pick some Altari. Oh, Alkari. Um, we'll eventually, of course, get to choose eight. But uh, right now, we can only do the five. We will do all of them. Uh, you can also get a random seed, so if you want to play the same game over or have a friend play the game, I guess that's an option. And right now we can choose a circle galaxy or a spiral. And we're going to choose spiral. Circle looks kind of boring. Circle looks more like a grid. So we're going to do spiral. Galaxy size, we can choose medium or large. Um, I think we're going to stick with medium for now. For the first playthrough, we'll do medium. There's only um, there's only six of us, so we'll do that. Galaxy age, we'll stick with average. That has to do with... Mineral richness and habitability and all that. So, anyways, what's advanced settings? Random events. I don't know what pixel ships are. I've seen this a couple times. I don't know what. I can't select it though. Unselectable. Pirates, monsters, racial traits, balanced starting condition. I don't know what that is either. Uh, as as of right now, we only have this only has two. We actually have three victory types. There's a couple more that are in progress. Uh, that they're working on, sort of Civ Five style. They're going to have like a diplomatic victory, or a diplomatic's already there, uh, but like a technological victory and a uh, economic victory. I think you get, basically yeah, you get voted into this something. Anyways, let's start the game. So yes, this comes out. Well, officially this comes out tomorrow, February twenty sixth. But I guess they did some sort of soft release today. I just happened to look at it and saw that I could buy it, and I did. And it worked. <laughs> so, here I am. We're going to get an intro movie here for the Alkari. Time beyond measure had the honorable Alkari roosted on the craggy peaks of Altair. Through honor and discipline, their proud lineage mastered the skies, and with them, all that which lays below, but their hearts yearn for ever wider horizons. It is time now for the Alkari flock to put their abilities to the ultimate test. To soar beyond their golden clouds and seek out new skylines in the endless wild black yonder. I really wanted him to say seek out new life and new civilizations, but. Ah, okay, your Imperial Highness, such an honor. Greetings, blessings, salutations. Mm, yes. <laughs> I'm here as your advisor, High One. The name is Quail, highly learned of the Flock's Science Academy. I am sworn to put my knowledge to the service of the Flock. 
block. I think that's Mark Hamill. I think that's who does the Alcari voice. <laughs> okay, thanks, Mark. Um, okay, so here's Altair. Altair, we have our... This is the Altair uh, star. We have we are on Altair Prime, which is a Terran planet. Let me, let me, I'll do that in a second. Uh, we have no planets in our system other than an asteroid, which is kind of kind of sucks. Um, ooh, I like the look of our ship. I haven't played the Alcari yet. I haven't seen anything on the Alcari yet. They have a cool-looking ship look. Okay, thanks. Very cool. Um, so we do have star points now. We can't just fly anywhere we want. We have star points. Uh, if we want to go... So we are here. Oh, here we go. Oh, this looks kind of grid-like, too. Doesn't look much different than the grid. But okay. But yeah, so we are in Altair here. We have three different star points that we can fly to, which will take us to either the... We don't know what system this is, do we? No, it doesn't have a name yet. So what we can do, we got one fleet. We have two scouts and a frigate. We will send one scout over there. And then we can send... I guess we'll send the frigate here. Oh, we should probably check out... Do we need to check out the asteroids? Yeah, I guess we can fly there. Does it tell me anything? It's Altair... Alt it, well, it's Altair 2, or at least it was once Altair 2. I'm assuming you can uh, eventually colonize those. Or terraform them into planets. You always could before in uh, Astro Ryan. Okay, and uh, so in typical move fashion, we have the, um, the research, food, and production folks, birds, that we can put where we want. I kind of like the, have, we have sort of a, a diminishing returns thing, so we each if, say we add another production guy on, he'll be, he'll give us two production, and another one will only give us one. Ideally, I guess the planet only has so many sources of food, farmable plots for food and production spots. So that's what that's all about. We can see up here we have a medium Terran, we have abundant minerals, uh, normal, especially we have artifacts, which gives us a resource boost to the colony, which right now we have two, plus the two for the, uh, the artifacts we're doing. And we'll have a colony ship in one turn. I think next we want... Oh, do I start with automated factories? That's fantastic. Yeah, do that. That must be the physics tech that I get. Managed structures is a little strange. We have a planet, and there's a marine barracks, and there's a star base, and there's a there's a capital. And I guess these are satellites. I haven't seen these before. Little satellites flying around. That's kind of cool. Um, okay. Done. Yes, done. Uh, let's take a look at... Oh, Juzilla. Juzala. Is that Juzala? Here's Juzala. Juzala. Juzala has three planets and an asteroid belt. Do we know what this one is? No? Go. So take you three turns to go there? Okay. I'll take you two turns to go there. Uh, go ahead and fly all the way there, buddy. How many turns? Five turns? Okay, we'll have a, a colony ship out next turn, and I guess we're just going to park it here until we figure out where we're going to We're probably going to go ahead and actually maybe send them this way. There's three planets. Surely one of those planets will be colonizable. Will be decent. Uh, choose research. Next up. Welcome, your highness. What wisdom do you seek? Uh, so we do have a tech tree now, which is I'm a little sad about. One of the best parts of Mu2 was the way they did the tech, but it's, it's still a little bit like that because... Where's one of them? Like fusion weapons. Say you choose fusion weapons, then you get a choice. You either pick the fusion beam or you pick the fusion bomb. Um, you can see the little, some of them have these little lines in here. That's how you can see that. There's not a lot of them. I'm, I'm assuming there's more to the tech tree eventually. Artificial gra gra gravity. We will get either a shipyard or a moon laboratory. And it is a pretty massive tech tree. That's actually a very massive tech tree. For an early access game. Um, there's just a few of them. Super gravity, you pick to pick one or the other. That's, that was always the, kind of the cool thing, because you had to have a little bit of diplomacy, or, um, well, you didn't have to have diplomacy, but you could, if, say you got, here, you get, you either choose the hydroponic form, farm, or biospheres. Well, this way, you get both of them. And I think we want that, because we start with physics, which gives us the factory and the, bra and the, the blaster. So we're going to pick biology. Your highness. Okay, thanks, buddy. Um, okay, is there anything else to look at? I don't think so. We've got our planet. We looked at our planet. We looked at our structures. What do we have up here? Empire. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is like our, our spreadsheet of the of our, our empire. We have one system. And the way that they do um, taxes and angry people. So if we raise our taxes up to like five. May I interrupt? We're going to make two people very angry. And two people are going to go on strike and they're not going to work. So we want to 
maximize our taxes without making people mad. And that's what we're going to do. So we're making 22 credits per turn. We don't call on any four research. We'll have biology in three turns. You can also do a sort of uh, uh, auto manager on your planets, which is what this is. We can choose a colony focus that they want to focus on. Research or whatever. There's research. Ship design. I have not seen anything on, actually. But I'm assuming we can, we can like, spiff our ships up. I don't really know what to do with it yet. We'll have to cross that when we get there. We have neutron blasters, nuclear drive, titanium armor. Okay. It is a cool looking ship, though. Uh, diplomacy, we know nobody. Uh, I didn't even put my, my name in there. I guess I just took my Steam name. I didn't even <laughs> think about it. Back to Oh, here's our, our victory conditions. We have... So, excellence is just having the highest score when the turn ends. We have 500 turns left. So, uh, I don't think this will go 500 turns. Conquest, victory. Uh, well, that's killing everybody. Diplomatic. Uh, elected Supreme Chancellor in the Galactic Council, which would be sort of like the president of the UN if you're playing Civ 5. Which is that? Uh, economic is, um, I think it's sort of like the religion victory where you get voted as the leader of some sort of economic council. And technological, I'm not sure how that one works. I think it's, I know there's some things in the tech tree that, that you need to get the tech victory. Sort of like building a spaceship maybe. I'm not sure. We don't know any planets. All right, first turn. It only took us 11 minutes. May I interrupt? Our first colony ship is ready. Okay, thanks. Before getting into combat, it's important to consider the enemy's strength and analyze possible outcomes. Oh yeah, you can like... Um, oh wait, wait, what is this? What is this? Space pirates! This is my frigate. I should be able to easily handle those space pirates. I have a 131 strength, he has a 21 strength, so we can easily handle that guy, so we ain't scared. Um, I want you to continue. Yeah, you go there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send the colony ship to the warp point. And uh, prepare for something good in this system. Surely something is good over here. We have orange stars. Do we have brown stars? Because brown stars are really cool. No? Are you brown? You're yellow. Oh, man. That's a shame. Can I not... I can see this system, but I can't actually fly there. Interesting. There's no warp point to get there. Huh. Okay. Choose production. Didn't I already choose my production? Automated factory. Build it. And then, what is this? This is my queue, right? Oh, oh, show queue. There we go. Show queue, we're going to build... What is a space factory? Space factory can build defense structures and raiders on warp points and, and mines on asteroids to extract valuable resources. Oh! No offensive... Oh, yeah. How do I put that on my... We'll build one, we'll see what it does. I do have an asteroid belt. I'm tempted to actually move this guy over here. Move both of them over there. We want food. Food means population. Population means people. Means people means work, research, and more food. Okay, done there. Uh, next turn. Threatening fleet. Pirate fleet near Rye, which this is. Oh, that's Rye. Which I can't get to, I'm assuming. Oh, here we go. He's going to fly at me. I'm going to fly at him. So we'll get to see some combat here. Timbaru discovered. Timbaru is this one, which has one planet around a yellow star. Uh, you can tell orange So that orange stars uh, can support life but are poor in minerals. I think yellow is just sort of like an average star. Blue is, oh, it's a white star. Mineral rich, barely able to support life. What are you? Yellow. Red have high minerals, but low habitability, right? Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and send the colony ship. I'm going to trust that this is not Orion and we won't die. I'm I, don't, I haven't seen it. I'm assuming there's an Orion system around somewhere that has a guardian. That's kind of the game. I don't like the way this thing scrolls. It's like one scroll zooms you way out. Next turn. Ooh, what is this? Is this somebody? Greetings, Humans. Friend. I am the president of Your name the is Caesar? Republic. May the cooperation of course between it's our Caesar. races be ever fruitful. <laughs> Can we talk to the humans? How do we talk? No, they kind of like me. Yeah. Request an audience. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? Hey, buddy. Um, negotiations. Speak your mind, friend. Share charts. Exploration charts, including stellar and planetary knowledge. Oh, yeah, let's try that. 
I must decline. Oh, what a jerk. All right. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. <laughs> Farewell. Bye, buddy. I made a friend already today. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's fly to a planet. Who is this? Is this humans again? Oh, humans again. Can we take them out? No, we both are scouts. We have no strength. Let's go to this one first. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's an ocean. This is a nice one. Size 10, maximum population. It has lots of food, lots of production. And it has gold. Oh, man, that's a nice system. Nice planet. Let's go there. So, yeah, that's a good planet. That's a very good planet. Anything else need done? No? I like that it tells you if there's things that need to be done. Timberu. Um, can we fly straight at him? Combat? How do I... How do I make combat? Attack. Oh, here we go. Um, do tactical. Tactical. We get to watch the battle. It may not be completely done yet. Yes, it's. We're just going to sort of watch it. One of me, three of them. Oh no! Oh, check it out. What can I? What can I do? I can pause. Can change your formation. That's pretty much all I can do. Can I tell you to go somewhere? Go here. Ooh! Watch out for those asteroids. Oh, God. We're hitting the asteroids. Okay, yeah, go this way. Oh, we're getting shot. Oh, nice! Uh, yeah, him. There you go. Got you, you dirty pirates. Shoot him again. There you go. Do it faster. We're just gonna circle him and shoot. As much as I like the uh, the turn-based tactical of Master Brian 2, this is kind of cool. Um, I hope there's more. I guess there. I mean, you can manually control people. Pause them. I like it. I like it. Yes, we annihilated the pirate raiders. We need to go here and check out this planet. Um, okay, next turn. One turn, our colony ship will be there. See what this planet is. Ooh, what is this? This is oh, a large Terran with gems? Man, this system's amazing. It's abundant. Oh, man, look at the food. Five from one guy. Fifteen maximum population. Okay. We know where we're going, buddy. Go there. I've had some colony ships are moving too close to my own colonies. I ask that you respect my territory. Um, okay. If I say yes and then do it, will that give me... Oh, no. Decline. Oh, he's mad. Oh, oh he's really mad. I shouldn't even bother with the likes of you. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't take you seriously. Is that a... Wait, no. No, wait. Yes, it is. Yep, it is. All right, let's colonize. Uh, colonize. Do we need a movie? Yes, we do. Juzala 2. Large Terran Abundant. A little, bit, a little bit choppy on the recording. I need a new computer. But it's very nice. Very inspiring music. Uh, okay, so first off, I think we need food. We want more people. We should build an automated factory. Ooh, maybe a... F yeah, build a factory. Uh, factories, if you don't uh, know Master Ryan, map factories will give us a, basically a bonus in production. I think it gives us... I think it just gives us... How many does it give us? I don't know. I think it gives us either one or two additional, just free production. I think it's two, actually. So people don't even have to be working in production. It just gives you two production. Um, okay. Done. And let's check out this planet here. Go here. What is this? Is this another ultra-rich ocean? Man. This system is amazing. All right, we got to start building some colony ships. We're working on our factory right now. We're going to cancel that space dude. And we're going to throw out a couple more colony ships. 14 turns to build them. Move it up there. I'll go ahead and... 72, should I buy it? He only costs 90... Oh, 93 production. Maybe I should move a farmer down here. Because with, with the factory, we'll have, I think, 11. So it should be done... We're already down to 11 turns. It should move it quite along pretty fast. Okay. 
I don't think there's colony bases anymore. I think there's just colony ships. And you can't make a colony ship, I'm guessing, because you don't have a starbase. Starbase and armor, armored platform used to build and service military spacecraft. Enables battleship construction. I don't know. Is it like a spaceport? I don't know. Okay. Um, choose research. Biology is done. We now have our farms. We just saw. Thanks. Um, okay, back to the tree. Let's take a look. I like it this way better. So government will give us research lab, which is very important, and a government support facility, which gives us morale. Engineering will give us destroyers and anti-missile rockets. We might need that for the humans. Filthy humans. I'm going to go with the research, though. Games like this, research is the thing. I'm going to move you there in my... Yeah, go take a, take a look at that. And then I'm going to move you back over to that system and, and defend it. What is this? Is this a gas giant? Yeah, gas giant. Okay, so I want you to go here. Yeah, fly through. That's fine. This might... Is this soul? Because there's a chance that this is soul. It's got to be. Yeah, it is soul. Will they let me fly through there? Oh. Hmm. One more turn. Anomaly detected near Leonids. Oh, have a look at this. What's the anomaly? What is this? Strange eddies are usually located off the usual warp points between stars. They may be an SOS beacon of a derelict ship or a particularly dense resource cluster. Usually worth the time to explore. Okay. Uh, buddy, can you go there? Yeah. Arriving at the anomaly, your fleet spots an abandoned container filled with rare minerals floating unguarded in open space. You tell yourself some smuggler on the run must have jettisoned their cargo. Nobody is around to claim it, so you add it to your treasury without a second thought. Nice. Somebody forgot their lock to uh, lock their their box. Okay, I guess we should fly straight back there. What is? Why is this red? Oh. Wait, I don't know. Why is it red? Is it out of my range, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure. Well, we need to put a cut here. We're at uh, 22 minutes. So thanks again for watching. I will uh, attempt to get new episodes out daily on this. Um, but uh, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.